So Dave, can you tell us a little bit more about what the peer review and editing process looks like behind the scenes? Sure. Well, first of all, let me state that reviewing is hard, uncompensated work. Uh, very few reviewers get any sort of credit either uh, from their institution uh, or anything in the way of monetary credit for doing this type of job. And that's why sometimes it can take uh, a bit of time to find reviewers because you're asking them to do something voluntarily for people that they do not know. Sometimes part of the time involved in the whole review process is just finding the reviewers who agreed to review this particular submission. I also should mention that when you get the decision back, you should see the comments by each of the reviewers, but there are also a set of comments that the editors often receive that the author does not see. And this can indicate how the reviewers really feel about an article. So sometimes I'll get an editorial comment saying, well, I really thought that this article should have been rejected, but it seems like it came from somebody more junior. So I'm going to give it a chance to go through a revision. Um, or there might be other types of um, comments like that. And often it helps the editor in making some kind of judgment about the uh, submission. Um, often if you see any kind of delay in getting a decision back from the editor, this means there's a delay in getting a review back. I would mention that it makes sense, especially after an appropriate length of time, to contact the editor and inquire about the status of an article because editors are doing lots of other things. They're usually full-time professors and they're working on a lot of different projects. And so they may not be keeping track of exactly who owes them a review. If you mention it to them, they might go back and say, oh, yeah, yeah, that's, uh, I'll, I'll either chase that down or maybe I'll look and see whether or not if I have enough reviews now to be able to render it. So.